The internet is such a vital part of our day-to-day -day routine. We use it for almost everything, be it from communication to transportation, business, and of course, entertainment. The existence of the internet has made our relationship with entertainment a lot more intimate, to say the least. Without the internet, it's really difficult to keep up with your favorite shows or game efficiently with your buddies, which is why you want to invest heavily in your internet connection if you're going to enjoy the company of others online, as cheaping out might end up bumping you up a ping a little too far. It's good to do your research, but where do you even start when there's tons of routers to choose from? Well, luckily for you, you're in the right place to learn about what you need for an optimal gaming experience. It's time for another episode from Top Tier Tech, where today, we're going to be looking at the best gaming routers, and by the end of this list, you'll feel pretty confident about your next router purchase. Now, you're probably wondering what kinds of differences that you need to look out for in different routers that are available. Well, for one thing, there are some things to consider before even throwing down money for a decent router, as not all routers are made to move consistent and massive loads of data in a quick manner. Some will literally just exist to get a decent internet connection and nothing else. Gaming routers will end up placing more of an emphasis on lowering latency and helping to improve the flow of data between your device and the internet. With that in mind, you also have to make sure that you have a decent internet provider that offers speeds that can accommodate both the needs of your gaming sessions and the needs of your everyday lifestyle. So before you go into buying any of these, keep in mind what sort of service that you really need. But with that all the way, let's get into it. The IO Giant Wi-Fi 6 Router AX1800, $100. You don't always have to splurge to have a good online experience, and that's no more apparent than with IO Giant's AX1800 router. This is what you need to buy when you just want something that works and does what it does well. You won't be doing any sort of hardcore 4K streaming anytime soon, but with speeds that at least reach up to 1200 megabits per second, you can count on some solid performance with whatever game you're doing. Despite the seemingly low internet speed, you can bet that the AX1800 will have solid connections, as it touts an 802.11 AX as one of its wireless standards. It's backwards compatibility with the old wireless standards, but you'll probably still want to utilize 802.11 AX anyway. In addition to the newest in wireless tech, it also uses Moo Mimo, which is multi-user, multi-input, multi-output tech, so as to ensure that multiple devices will be able to be connected at once without killing your speeds. Got any young gamers in the family? Well, you'll be happy to know that they do have included parental tools so as to help keep your kids in check when they've been playing Fortnite just a bit too long. At the very entry point of just $100, the IO Giant provides a solid entry into the world of online gaming for a reasonable price. The TP-Link Wi-Fi 6 Router Archer AX21, another $100. Usually your internet provider will hand you a semi-decent router that'll do the job all right for general use, but it might not be strong enough for gaming, which is why you need to invest in your own personal router, and this is where the TP-Link's Archer AX21 is a great pick for a solid gaming router. For one, the Archer AX21 boasts speeds of about 1200 megabits per second when using the 5G band, which you really should default to anyway, and 574 megabits per second when using the 2.4 gigahertz band. When you couple that with a 1.5 GHz quad-core processor for that low latency, you'll end up getting a router that is perfect for any gamer looking to upgrade their online experience. If you just so happen to live with a bunch of non-gamers, the Archer AX21 uses Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, or OFF-DMA, so as to ensure that multiple devices can be connected and not lose connection speeds. As far as gaming router goes on the cheaper end of the spectrum, you could do a lot worse in the Archer AX21. The Netgear Nighthawk R7350 AC2400 router, $150. This spicy little entry on our list is really gunning for your wallet at $150. Now, for some of you, that might be leaning a little steep into the territory, but Netgear is making sure that its Nighthawk AC2400 router gives you the most bang for your buck. And let me tell you, it is one heck of a bang. For starters, its own speed capability is a nice bump up, clogging in at speeds of up to 2400 megabits per second. Now, while it doesn't have a dual core processor, which doesn't sound too impressive when compared to the AX1800, it does then more than make up for it in reliability. Let's say, for example, that you might have a slower device connected to the router. 
Well, instead of splitting the speed between it and your main device, the AC2400 will use the airtime fairness feature so as to ensure that slow devices don't affect the internet speeds. Your intense gaming sessions won't be hampered because grandma really needs to connect her dying iPhone so that way she can check Facebook. You'll still be able to play games and stream 4K UHD content with little to no issue. And that just makes the Nighthawk 2400 a great pick for somebody who wants a reliable and sturdy router. Are you guys having a good time? Well, maybe consider dropping a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. And also, don't forget to turn on post notification bell so that way you're updated with all the content we put out there. The Lynx Mesh Wi-Fi 5 Router MR8300, $200. Maybe you live in your parents' basement and still don't like the idea of moving into an upstairs bedroom for some reason. Yep, the internet connection in the basement is so terrible. What do you do? Maybe consider getting yourself the Lynx MR8300 router, because that way you'll be able to get some serious range in your Wi-Fi connection. With an incredible range of nearly 2,000 square feet, you'll be able to cover most of your home with ease. In addition to the ridiculous coverage, you can connect well over 20 devices without any of them losing speed. The MR8300 accomplishes this particular feat by ensuring that each individual connection is treated as if they were each connected to one router. The Moon Mimo, like the AX1800, can give each connection the strength that it needs to play games, browse the internet, or even stream 4K movies. In addition to the ability to handle multiple devices with ease, the MR8300 is capable of internet speeds of up to 2200 megabits per second. And for the price tag of 200 bucks, Lynx has ensured that you're getting the highest quality possible. The ASUS AX6000, $350. Maybe you are a serious streamer that wants to give their audience the best possible experience, or maybe you're just that hardcore of a gamer that you need something that powerful. Well, don't hold your breath, because the ASUS AX6000 is what you need to buy when you need the ultimate in speed and performance. If you thought the highest speed so far wasn't enough for you, don't worry, because the AX6000 clocks in at speeds of, you guessed it, 6,000 megabits per second. Now look, that is some serious overkill for your ordinary gamer, but if you want to get serious about your online gaming or you just need high speeds for multiple online tasks, then you should strongly consider investing the money into this beast. The AX6000 is the cutting edge of internet speeds, as it also touts 802.11 AX as its feature set. Along with the off DMA and the Moo Mimo technology, the AX6000 does well with its households that use multiple devices. In addition to the strong connectivity, its adaptive quality of service, or QoS, ensures that data packages from games are prioritized along with built-in fast technology so as to reduce lag and high ping. For the price point of 350 bucks, you are gonna be getting the latest and greatest gaming routers. And without a doubt, the AX6000 is the router that you need to plan on getting in order to be a competitive gamer. So that does it for this episode of Top Tier Tech. Let us know in the comment section below what your favorite online game is. What really gets the salt and blood flowing when you're gaming with your pals? And also, are there any routers that we may have missed which you think should have been on this list? Let us know in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, stay safe and stay informed.